Ciao guys. Ciao guys. And welcome back to Lampis. In this video, we are still on the very last day of our safari yeah, trip in Namibia. Yeah, we are at the end of our trip. Yes, and this video, we want to share with you how much we spent on safari. Like, how much does an African safari meal cost? cost yes. We are in Namibia at the moment. Waterbeck Plateau Park, as you can see, the background, very beautiful. Yeah, it's like it's morning. <laughs> it's morning time. We just woke up and we wanted to shoot this video in a different environment other than just sitting in our apartment in Berlin. It's at the uh, we're actually at the end of our safari trip. Today is the last day. Tomorrow Ali is flying back to Rome and I'll fly back to Germany in three days. Just before I go into detail, we are going to talk about flight tickets if you're flying from Europe from Europe or the car mm -hmm. the, I think the two main things that really take up your money is the tickets flight tickets and the car, and the car. yes how much did we actually spend let's start with uh, the flight tickets which I think for a safari are they are the most expensive part of your safari from Europe from Germany I mean from Europe I mean if you're flying from Rome if you're flying from Amsterdam Berlin Munich Expect the flight for the, the flight ticket to be between eight hundred to a thousand. Yes. Of course, that price is impacted also by the season. Are you coming during the peak season, or you coming during the Christmas season? So it depends on the season. If you come off season, maybe you might be lucky and pay less. Less is maybe seven hundred and fifty. Let me put mm -hmm. it that way. And also depends if you want to spend more time on the. On the road, you know, mm -hmm. some people fly, wouldn't mind spending spending like uh, hey, ten hours in Dubai. That's not me. Maybe when you take those <sighs> flight tickets, then that's when you're at six hundred. But a normal flight ticket, Berlin, Amsterdam, Amsterdam, Angola, uh, Namibia, which is already about seventeen hours, it's eight hundred to a thousand. The car mm -hmm. for a safari trip, you definitely need to rent a car. So either a four by four if you want comfort. Or if you're really on a tight budget, then you rent a 2 by 4 like... Um, 2 by 4 Yes, you know, like the Vans, the uh -uh. normal cars. Okay. <laughs> you don't know this? No, 2 by 4 2 by 4 or 4 by 4 So for our car, we spent 1,040 mm -hmm. in euros. That is also a large chunk, but you know, the good thing about this, the car price, is that if you're traveling by yourself and you rent a 4 by 4 this price you have to pay it by yourself yes but you have four people you have and four you people. want to of course you're going to split the cost then it's going to come out like about 250 Each per person. person yeah this is good and i have to highlight here remember last time when we did our safari it was just the two of us and we spent 800 on a sedan mm -hmm. because then we felt okay a four by four was going to be expensive for two people but this time we got a four by four but we didn't spend more no we spent less actually mm -hmm. yes because 250 because we were more people for our car we got our car in Winduk from acacia car rentals very nice i recommend it they have amazing four by four and also manual and automatic so and if you're not used to driving a manual car you may take um automatic and the other good thing is that they have a couple of um connection to tow services if you are stuck in speed scorper for example then they can call the tow service that is close to you i will leave the link to akashia car rental in the description below mm -hmm. in case you're booking mm -hmm. the next course that i have here is accommodation when it comes to accommodation, this is the second time we are doing safari together and we always love to camp. Yes. Camping in Namibia is beautiful. We also, I will leave a link up here if you don't know about camping in Namibia to watch that video. That video, yes. Absolutely really amazing. So for our accommodation, we paid 750 euros in total mm -hmm. so far. And that's also fine because that means then you share the price with other three people and it's quite affordable yep it's for 15 days yes so, and for four so people for four people yes 
but I wanted to highlight here if you are Namibian and you want to come how much is that in Namibian dollars mm -hmm. an example so I'm just gonna check briefly on the Excel sheet that I have on my phone mm -hmm. so for example for Waterbeck Plateau where we are at at the moment we paid 250 Namibian dollars per person yeah which is really nothing <laughs> it's less than 15 15 euros the most expensive camping site we had was in uh, Botswana in Botswana we spent uh, 200 2000 and um, 200 Namibian dollars to again it is important that you're in a group because most campsites don't charge per person they charge for per, place yes you you the price that you pay is like a thousand Namibian dollars per campsite so if you are four people that mm -hmm. is very cheap if you just buy yourself then you have to pay that I mean why would you can buy yourself that's not even an option yeah. no it's not an option that is not an option however the more you are has also a limit most camping places only take maximum six to eight people not I think mostly six, I mean, six people six people is fine okay the next next cost that yeah. I have here is the fourth biggest cost for the safari trip is the fuel for the car yes fuel of course that is variable because it depends on what kind of tour you want to plan the things that you want to see and how long you're going to stay but in our case as we say there we have spent 15 days in Namibia and we have made a plan of a tour that is around about 2,000 kilometers. Fuel cost us so far 380. That's what I've calculated. We are now in water bag and we just need to fill. We filled up yesterday in Suarongo. Mm -hmm. That means we still have a full tank and we need to fill up again in Windu before we give away the car. Uh, we give back the car. Before we give back the car. And so, so far, sev um, 380 euros for fuel. For fuel. That again is if you think you are two people is uh is more. higher is more cost but if you are four, four people, people is really cheap it's, yeah another extra thing actually to pay for in safari is then the camping material yeah for this trip myself and Ali didn't pay for camping material because last time we came to namibia with without all the gears everything like we had the tents the table the chairs everything we transported from europe and then we left it everything here? here so we, we already didn't pay had. for that but if you need camping materials this th i don't know of any company at the moment that rent camping material al alone like on their own the best thing to do is rent a car when you're renting, renting a, car, a car you have the option to, to say a full a car equipped with a full camping materials or fully equipped with camping materials or a car without camping material and you yeah. I would say don't rent things like GPS yeah you need yes. a mattress a tent and you can choose if you rent the car with a uh, tent on top mm -hmm. which most tourists do because if you haven't been to Africa before you probably think wherever you're going everywhere you're going to sleep you're going to be in interacting with the animals dangerous mm -hmm. ones mm -hmm. but it's not the case just rent um, ground tents mm -hmm. and even though we didn't pay for the camping material, I know that our friends that we are with, they have, um, for example, pop-up tents. Yes, this is the stand. only company that I know so far with pop-up pop tents. Stand. They got them from where we got the car, which is Intermix Safari Tour. Safari and Tours. And tour. Yes, in Windu. Pop-up tents are easy. Five seconds, you have a pop-up tent ready. Yes. Five seconds, it's out. And it costs you way, way less than if you have the car. The car with the top tent. tent on top. The next thing is food. Yes, food. For us, was Cheap. about 200 euros for two people for food. So 100 euros per person for 15 days. Yes. It's really nothing. It's very cheap. Let me give you an example. But why? But why? Because we chose not to eat in largest in, in restaurants we were preparing our own meal every single day and we made sometimes we we're just creating our own recipe we did this uh, chaklaka with the green vegetable then yes. we serve it with porridge then we also did a lot of bean soup I mm -hmm. mean the guys were also creating some meals it's just fun because camping is about sitting around the fire yep. and if you have fire you have the pots already just put the pot on fire and cook something so for us it was very cheap when it comes to food and let me open like a parenthesis on uh, on this topic because 
the problem with most people that come from Europe and uh, come to Africa and want to do safari, they just know then what they can eat at the lodges or at the campsite. They don't experience anything or there is really rare that they experience food that is outside of the touristic. Instead, one of the most beautiful experience that uh, you can have when you are traveling in Africa is going to the open markets, the yep. local open markets and find local food or local stand where you can buy local food and really enjoy your meal and get in touch with the culture. This is a fundamental part in the in, in, in a safari tour. Yes, so for example, the press that I remember very well, in Katima there's a huge open market, they save um, fresh fish, Yes. they have uh, fresh local vegetables. And we have made Somalia. a video. Yes, we're also going to leave that video somewhere down here or up here. Chomolia and they save you fresh made porridge. Yeah. Maize porridge. And that meal for four people it cost ten euro. Yes. So hundred and sixty hundred. So you pay two hundred and two two nice. uh, you pay two point five euro each person and you have a full meal. So this came to a total of uh each person pays honestly plus minus five hundred. Five hundred to seven hundred uh, euros Exclu per person excluded the ticket. So your budget for a safari per person is going to be between 1,500 to 2,000 2, euros. Uh, and that is everything. That is amazing. Absolutely but this amazing. is, I'm it's happy that so we are doing that because mm. most people in Europe think of only safari from, oh, safari, I need 5,000. Yes, it's so expensive. So expensive. But honestly, at 2,000 or 1,500, you can do that. Yes. It, it's, it's affordable. Again, I think it's important here to highlight that the cost of this, everything we've talked about here, it's also highly, highly impacted by are you If you are booking everything with these big international safari companies, mm -hmm. it's going to be way more expensive. Mm -hmm. But instead of doing that, look for a local company where you get the car, where you get the camping material, like directly, contact them directly. That will... Is Cut way, your way, cost, way better. I think by six percent Local less. tour operator are way, way better than uh, when you go in a travel agency in Europe and you ask. Because what do they do in Europe? They just call the local tour operator and they charge you more money because they are like uh, commission. Com making a commission out of it. But you, you know I would I know say I would really I would love to see more Namibian doing safari. I like. Well, one thing that surprised me is like how Namibians are not really willing to explore their own country. That is a pity because Namibia is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Guys, please, if you are Namibian and you are watching this video, explore your country. You are living in a beautiful place. Is the end of, of our video. video and also the end of the, the safari. End of safari. <laughs> we have to go back to the car and start driving back to Winduk. If you enjoy this video, guys, give us a like subscribe to our channel and most important leave a comment in the description below so until our next video ciao ciao ciao, ciao, ciao. ciao. bye